Hello. <clears throat> um, let's see. She don't look very there yet. So, um, I'm on. Hoping to see who's out here. I'm normally never on at this time. It is uh, 11 p.m. here in Daegu, South Korea. And uh, uh, really, I thought I'd like to share um, what I've been doing during this time for myself. Um, that is, um, I've been doing a bit of watercolor and I want to share about that journey. I've been debating about posting it. Um, you know, my finished creations, I'm pretty proud of some of them because I, I mean, it's coming along and, uh, sometimes people don't share about the beginnings. You just see the finished product of when it's perfect and great. And, uh, that's not realistic to real life, I've found, with a lot of things. Sometimes uh, it takes a lot of work to get to where you are. So I guess I just wanted to document where I am right now with watercolor, because I'm hoping that it will get better in time. So um, if you, I don't know where you are, if you're tuning in and I don't know what you're doing, uh, I don't even know who's looking, if anyone, um, but I, unlike my other videos, which I'm usually trying to ex get to a point, today I just wanted to kind of share about watercolor, but, but also I wanted to um, have a talk with you all and see how you're doing if anybody feels like talking. Sometimes you don't feel like talking. <laughs> and I do understand. Or you're busy, or you think, you say, I'll get to it later. So I do understand. But if you wanna, if you wanna say anything, just say something on here and I can see comments and then I'll, I'll talk to you. So, uh, I'll just get to it. So, okay, so I have watercolor stuff that I wanna show you. Uh, but first, <clears throat> I guess I just wanted to document my watercolor journey so far because I got a long ways to go. I know that. But we all got to start somewhere. So this is a book that I've, on Instagram, I've kind of posted some of these pictures a while ago. But then when I was taking a look at it, I noticed I haven't posted anything for watercolor in quite a while. So... Uh, it's just something that I've been really trying. So I'm not going to show anything that I've already have on Instagram. Uh, but I wanted to show what I've been doing since the coronavirus situation. Uh, here in South Korea, tomorrow, which is in an, in an hour, it starts our eighth, is it eighth week of online schooling. Um, eighth week since all this started, I think, something like that. It started February to... 21st, 22nd, something, somewhere around there is when we kind of, uh, our lives sort of changed and then online schooling started right after that. Uh, but so for my own sanity, uh, just my own personal goal, other than, you know, trying to stay spiritually connected to God and teaching, you know, my children about that. For me, I wanted to do watercolor. I wanted to invest in that. I wanted to take time to do that. So this is one of the pictures. <laughs> this, is, this is one of the pictures that I came up with. So this, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna flip through this. This isn't the main thing I wanted to show, but I just kind of wanted to. So this is like grapes in the vine, and um, this. Okay, I will explain this later, but I just wanna. There's a point. Okay, just practice work. And um, this is supposed to be Ryan, but I didn't finish it yet. Um, anyway, th that's not really what I just wanted to show you that, you know, everything is not Instagram worthy, nor have I been posting anything about my watercolor recently on Instagram. But I want to start because we all got to start somewhere. So I want to say 
that I knew that I wanted to get better at, at watercolor, but then I thought, how can I get better at watercolor? You know, I need help. So I look online, there's 5 billion tutorials online and I spent a lot of time. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. I got more because that was just a sample. Um, uh, but looking online, there's a lot of tutorials. Everybody's trying to give you their best tips and advice on how to get better at watercolor. And I, I found my spells myself spending a lot a lot of time just looking at other people do what they love to do and it was kind of frustrating after a while because it's like I'm trying to find the perfect tutorial that will help me to do what I want to do and it was just I, I couldn't find the tutorial I spent all this time looking at other people do it and I wanted to do it I wanted to watercolor so then I thought what am I gonna do and then I realized that I ordered this book a long time ago. And it's not even about the book, but I'm just showing you. This book is called Learn to Paint in Fifth Learn to Paint Watercolor with 50 Paintings, right? I've had this book for quite a while. Not that long, maybe a couple of months. But I I, I ordered it because looking at tutorials and then I anyway, and then it sat there collecting dust. And then coronavirus happened. And then I'm trying to get better at watercolor. So I'm looking online at all these tutorials and it's overwhelming because they're better than me. <laughs> and and uh, I'm like, I just, it's just, so then I thought, why don't I just use what I have? Hi, Lois. Good morning. Yes. So I want to use what I have. What I had was this book that I ordered a long time ago. And, uh, but I, that I never used. And so I already had all the materials I had paper, I had these paint brushes, but again, I just never sat down to do it because it's so hard. You take a blank sheet of paper and like, how do you get started? Anyway, so I just want to sh show you. So th the way this book is set up, he teaches you as you go. And I knew that, but I just, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I, I guess I just wanted to say it is hard to get started sometimes when you really want to do something and you want to do it well. At least that's how I like. If I'm going to do it, I want it to turn out exactly right. And and uh, it's it doesn't always work out that way. So I just, so hit there his first thing on here. So he is, okay, this is all basic stuff. Um, but chapter two all of that chapter one was just like basic stuff but then so the way he, it works is it goes from one to 50 and by the way i'm on number six or seven so i'm not far along number one so in two pages he kind of describes what to do and everything so this is the first one and then i i did this so here's mine it looks good I mean, it, it's all right. Uh, it doesn't look like that, though. <laughs> but it's all right. And so since it didn't come out exactly how I thought, I thought, well, maybe it's because of the paint I'm using. You know, I'm using a cheaper paint. Maybe I need a more expensive paint, and then I can get professional quality results if I have professional quality paint. That's not that's not true, but I was thinking that that's what I needed. Um uh, but anyway, I'm going to get to what I realized. Uh, so this is part two. The second one is like paint this picture here. And then I came up with this right here. You know, it's all right. But it's, it's again, it's not that. It's not this. So I thought I, I don't have the right tools. You know, I, you know, it's not me. <laughs> it's the tools, you know. Anyway, it's the same. Um, I'm glad you think so. It's, it's not the same, though. But And my husband, who will tell me the truth, uh, not saying that you're not telling me the truth, but he said that this right here isn't that exciting anyway. So if I come up with something like this, he's just like, it's not even... So I'm like, all right, okay, let me do something else then. So then I thought... Let me throw away this book, not throw it away, but I'm going to close the book now because obviously this guy doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> you know, 
I was like, I must need a better tutorial. So I spent, again, I went back to YouTube looking at a lot of tutorials and I found this tutorial on how to paint a cactus. So I gotta tell you, I was really excited. You, do you see this cactus here? Look at that color, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I guess I was really, I wanna cut this out and like put it somewhere, but then I thought that's cheating because this is the whole paper. And it wasn't until I saw another watercolor artist. Um, her name is Candace. <laughs> and she said, you could cut these things out. And I thought, I don't know why I didn't think of that, but I just, I guess I'm just sort of like, no, you're not supposed to cut it. But why not? You can cut it if you want to. So I, the pot isn't good though. And so I saw, I just started making a bunch of stuff. I was like, all right, I did get new paint. And then I, yes, practice makes perfect. And to keep going, right? And then, so I just, I was just checking out the paint, see the layering and stuff. I'm like, this is, this is great is because I have new paint that I can now make fantastic creations, right? So then what I did was I thought, you know, I'm tired of looking at, at these tutorials, you know, because step by step, I'm like mimicking what I see. And then I made this other painting. I don't have it, but it must be pretty good because my husband took it and now it's in his office. It's of the water, it's, it's nice. But the rock was messed up, and so maybe that's just me. But he took it, and it's in the office, uh, so I don't have it to show to you. But then after that, I thought, you know what? I don't want to watch these tutorials. I want to kind of paint things on my... I want to see it, and I want to paint it, and I want it to come out. And so I made this. Do you know what that is? You know, <laughs> I thought, I have a bunch of bananas at home. I want to just look at it and paint it like they do in the tutorials. Anyway, it came out like that. And then I tried again with a pencil, well, like a watercolor pencil, tried to outline it. It came out a little better, but this one was no outline. I just thought it would just come out. It it didn't, but I tried. So that that happened. And then I joined, I decided what I need is I need people who will help motivate me. Maybe I'll join watercolor groups on Facebook Yes, a banana. I'll join watercolor groups on Facebook and then, you know, I'll get, be inspired by what they post and that'll, that'll make, you know, me better. But what actually happened was, as you can imagine, joining the watercolor groups on Facebook, then I, all they post, it seems like, is these fantastic creations that I am nowhere near doing. <laughs> it's just, it's kind of discouraging, but I'm still a member of the group, but I don't really look at the pictures anymore. It's just, it's just discouraging. Um, but anyway, then somebody made a post about, they said, I'm, there's no way I'm going to show my beginner stuff with you people. And then there was a bunch of comments and basically they were saying, you just got to get in there. You just got to try. Like, all right. And then this one lady posted something about how she took a picture of her son and she like made into this beautiful watercolor picture. So then I thought, okay, let me find a picture that I like of my kids. So I took this picture here, right? And I, and I thought I will watercolor Caleb, right? So this is what I came up with. And, and she gave the technique. She said, first she traced it onto the paper and then, you know, she had like five different pictures of her steps. I was like, I can do that. So then I, I came up with this. I'm not done with it yet and I'm probably not gonna finish it because it just doesn't look the way I thought it would. So here it is, right here. There's that picture. Here is Kayla playing chess and there he is. Um, but he laughs at me and says something's wrong with his arm and the color is all wrong and you know, so. That's true. So I kind of stopped working on that one. Um, it's just taped onto the board there. And so I thought, well, before, uh, let me work on the plant that's in there. And, you know, so then I thought, okay, let me go back to tutorials again because what I'm doing isn't working. This is like over the weeks, just like watching tutorial after tutorial. It's like work. 
um, but I really wanted to get better at it. So then I remember that I paid for this um, drawing class online that I never used. And here I just kind of, that wasn't in there. I would thought I'd try and make a cactus again. It didn't turn out the same. It's just, it's, but this is okay, you know. Um, and then I thought, you know what? <laughs> this is, I just want to, hopefully you're getting something out of this. Um, because it's not just about me showing the watercolor. I just want to show that everything's a process and a journey. And then I thought, <laughs> let me paint this um, succulent that I have. Uh, I should get it. It's over there. But I, I just happened to notice that the edges of it. In fact, I should go get it. I'll go get it real quick because it's so cute. Stay right there. Okay, all right, here it is, this succulent. You see that? Do, I don't know if you can look at that red right there, all around. I thought, I wanna paint that. It's so cute. I just noticed like, first of all, look how big it is. It's a succulent and look how tall it is. And then it has the little pink edges on there and I thought, I wanna paint that. And so this is what I came up with. Are you ready? This is what I came up with. Uh, right, let me, let me show you. See, here we go. But it's, it's, you know, what do you think? Uh, it's all right, but it's not this. You know, it didn't look like this. So therefore I gave up on the picture and I didn't finish it. The reason why it has white all around here is I put the, I don't know what it's called, that I don't know what it's called, but you put it on there and then you rub it off later to protect the paper. Um, and then I thought later I would put like red there. But first of all, this doesn't even look like that. And the pot is weird. And so I just, I gave up on that. So that, again, so I go back to YouTube and I'm watching more tutorials. This is what I do with my spare time, <laughs> which means I'm staying up late because I want to keep going. So then I watch a tutorial on how to how to make a boat because really my place is near water. In fact, I feel like I would I could call myself a great watercolorist if I could just paint landscapes that include water, which I think is hard to do. But this is what I came up with after watching a tutorial. Here it is. This does not look like the tutorial, let me just tell you. I mean I thought if I bought expensive paint, not that it's super expensive, but it's definitely a professional quality watercolor paint. I thought if I bought the paint, I would get the results. Well, obviously I need more than just the paint. Like I need some skill. <laughs> I mean, hours of finding a tutorial and then trying to do it. And then it's like, okay, that's not really what I was hoping for. So I watch another tutorial by the same guy and I came up with this. Um, this is better, um, but like my son told me, who's also, my son is very artistic. And I think it comes from my side of the family because my brother is also very autistic, went to school for art and I, I have elements of it, but I never used it. But now I'm just kind of, anyway, so this, my son saw it and he said, he said, it's missing the swirl right here. So I tried to add white, it didn't work. And then he said, it's just, you, you copied off of something. And I was like, okay, he's right. There is something about this that's kind of lame. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of boring. Um, but I do like how the colors blend and you know, I like this right here and I like that. I mean, there are things I like about it, but it's not. Uh, is it just that artists, and I wouldn't even call myself an artist, but is it just that people are just critical of their own work? I don't know. So then 
I told you about Candice, and I told you how she's an uh, actual, I think she would call herself an artist. She's, she's definitely tells people that she does watercolor and she does things for people, you know. Um, so she started these tutorials on her Facebook page. Uh, and one of them was how to make these watercolor thing, the watercolor, the watermelons, right? Isn't that cute? So some of these are better than the others. And so since it didn't, it, I was just practicing her technique. And then I thought, you know, I wanted to add a spiritual element to it. So I, I added this verse. It's Luke 8, 15. It says, as for that in the good soil, they are those who, hearing the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart and bear fruit with patience. Patience, right? We talk about patience. I don't have patience. Well, I, I have some amount of patience, but not when it comes to watercolor. I am learning patience because I really want to get better at it. So I'm, I'm continuing to try. So again, I go back to um, YouTube because I wanted maybe a more, more, uh, more skills. So I found this watercolor tutorial on how to make an apple. And I like this apple a lot. I mean, look at that. This is, is, I mean, the way he did it was uh, very interesting. I don't like this around here, really, but I do like the apple itself. So my son says, like I said, he is a critique boy. And so, you know, I guess I am too. He was like, it looks like a cherry because it's so shiny. I mean... So they were saying I should add a stem here, but the tutorial didn't have a stem and his definitely looked like an apple. So I'm not sure what exactly I'm missing here, but I'm getting there. This is more like what I want. There's so many different styles of watercolor though. So I, again, uh, I'm looking online, seeing lots of uh, resources and because of COVID, there's a, oh, the, really? The apple? Hey! Yeah, I, I yes. Thanks, Kim. All right, so, um, so um, there's a free tutorial class called JR School something. Jenna Rainey Watercolor, I think that's the name. So she made these fruits. She Actually, she has watercolors on a lot of different things. So I tried to practice it, and uh, but it got a little boring, not boring, but a little tiring. Like, how am I going to fill the spaces? You know, I like this. Uh, uh, but you can tell how some apples are better than, like, this is the best apple here. But some of them are not so good, you know. <laughs> anyway, and I love this. And I love the yellow. So I was just, her style is more loose, which is unlike me. I'm more like, there's a line there. I'm going to put a line there. And, you know, and I, I want to get out of that. And I want to just be free. And uh, so that this exercise was good for that but it was very difficult for me. Uh, and so my son said, sees it and he says, I need to work on my leaves. Yes, I do. I can agree. He's, he's, he's very observant. He's, uh, and then, so again, I want to add a spiritual element to it. And plus I didn't want to make more fruit down here. I grew like, I don't know what to do down here. So I just, you will bear much fruit apart from me. You can do nothing. John 15. 5b so I did that and then hey Candace I was talking about you earlier and your uh, videos all right so then afterwards go back to YouTube to watch a billion tutorials and lots of time so I saw a tutorial on how to make a sunflower so I made actually I made this sunflower first uh, which I like the problem with it, though, for me, is uh, it took about five minutes. <laughs> you know, like, oh, thanks. Thank you, uh, Candice. So, but this tutorial took, like, five minutes, and uh, I, obviously this is not that great. But this one right here, I was just like, wow, that was fast. And I was like, I had all my stuff, and it was nighttime. I was like, I was prepared to sit there and do a bunch of coloring you know like to do something but it was done so fast so I was like okay so let me do it again so that's when I came up with this one 
So I did that one. I really like how the colors came out there because they're bleeding together. I don't know. This was this was neat. But then it was like, okay, what else do I do? And then I practiced the leaves that the guy described in his tutorial. And I realized, okay, I still need help with leaves again. So then I started drawing roots. And look at that. I turned it into a hidden figure. So that's what I call this one. I was laughing uh, when I asked the kids, what do you think about this picture? Because every morning they basically wake up and there's another watercolor. Uh, so I named this one Hidden Figures, which, I mean, <laughs> I was just, I'm just trying to, I'm just. So again, I'm watching all these tutorial, tutorials, trying to get better at this. And then I decide, you know what, I'm tired of looking at the tutorials. I just, I just want to get better. So I come back to where I started in the first place, this book. And then I said to myself, you know what, why don't you just work through the book and see what happens? Finally, right? It took all of that for me to get back to where I started. So then I thought, okay, remember I was on number, number two was that pot that I did. So number three, though, in this book, the next one is working with a minimal palette. So he gives you like a skill to work on and then like something to do. So this was shoes. So this is what I came up with. I, and I, I changed two things. One, I decided to go back to the book. I'm just going to go through the book. And the second thing I did was notice this. I used a different paper. Notice the size difference, right? I'm not going to use this paper anymore because I'm starting to run out of paper. I mean, and anyway, so I thought this packet of paper here I had, but I didn't want to use because it was so nice. So I thought I'm going to save it for some special occasion. There is no special occasion. I have a lot of stuff that I don't use that I get that I'm holding and I need to use it. Just use it. So I, uh, these are the shoes and this is what I came up with. So, um, these are Daniel's shoes and they're all right um, what I did with it though is what I learned is uh, this blue on the outside which is nice at first it wasn't blue it was kind of like this color here I don't know if you can see it's like a pale color there and I took a picture before I changed it blue because it was too I don't know what you would call this color as you I'm not a professional so this yellow ochre, I don't know, probably. So it was more mild and I thought it needs something. So I added the blue, but now I think it's too much blue. And I don't know, and I can't get this shading to look right. So that, that was number three. Why am I talking about all this? Again, I just wanna document the journey because we all gotta start somewhere. And uh, I am trying to get better at watercolor. And so here's my, here is where I started video. Um, then uh, Easter is starting to come around. And I'm like, well, I want to do a painting for Easter so that I can post that. Because on my Instagram page, lately, it's just been all Jesus. Which there's nothing wrong with that. But it's like, how do I work in my art that I want to show? And so, um... So I thought, you know what? I'm going to look for a picture and then each day of Holy Week, I will come up with like this picture that will represent that day and then I can write my stuff, but it didn't, it didn't work. So, uh, well, it started to work because I traced out and you probably can't see, but I traced out this picture here and this is of, uh, I don't know, you probably don't notice, but somebody else's painting <laughs> of Jesus praying in the garden of Gethsemane right and and the actual painting is very nice so I thought and I traced it out with a watercolor pencil and I thought I'm gonna paint this and then I'm gonna post it and I'm gonna but you know what you know how I got this tracing here I used my laptop brightened it up bright blew up their painting their painting and I put this on there and I like outlined it and anyway as you can see I didn't finish it because it just wasn't it didn't move me it of course the picture itself moved, their painting was nice but I, I maybe I thought I can't do that yet 
So again, that was me trying to get away from what I said I was going to do, which is to go to the book, just finish the book. Stop looking at other stuff and just finish the book. Okay. That's what I'm trying to tell myself as I like look everywhere else for something else to do. Oh, and can you said, you don't want to waste paper. Yes. Um, using a huge seat. I don't feel the pressure. Is that why you would cut out what you need? I remember you saying, and I mentioned this actually in this video, how um, I have this cactus. I don't know if you on there for that I really like, but it's on there with a bunch of other stuff. And I here it is, this cactus here. Look at that cactus. Do you like that? And so I really like the colors of it. I don't like the pot though. So, and here's the whole picture. So I thought I want to cut that out and just keep that. Uh, but, and I said that you mentioned, just cut it out. And I thought, how can you do that? <laughs> but you're right. Why can't I cut it? I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, so this is four. It's about uh, arranging a simple still life. So in his, he just found stuff in his house and put it together and painted it. So I thought I would do that and this is what I came up with bam right here I don't know if you recognize this uh oh I don't have it here uh, it's in my room I don't want to leave again but um this right here is my bible my little mini bible and the outside of it and this is if I have to explain it then I have not reached my goal so let, let me just say <laughs> it's and so I showed it to Caleb because, like I said, every morning he's looking at my pictures. And then I was like, what do you think, Caleb? Because Caleb, the artist, will tell me what he thinks. He's like, it's all right. <laughs> I think he thought it was boring. It just doesn't pop. And I get it. It doesn't. It doesn't. Something's wrong with the handle here. I really like this. This is like my favorite part. This looks exactly like the actual Bible. And I, and I would go and get it, but I haven't already left. And that would be two times leaving. And that's probably too much. But I, it's, it's all right. So this was the simple still life. So I go to the next one. And we're almost done here because I'm on number seven. And we're on right here. This is number five. Number five is empty your pockets. It says empty your pockets and, and do a basic drawing for watercolor. So this is what this guy came up with. Looks really nice. Oh, you did, Kim? Because <laughs> you see me holding it. Um, this is what I came up with for empty my pockets. Uh, I, I don't have pockets, except for my robe pockets, as you can see, um, which usually I may or may not have in my robe and my sweatpants, um, because really nobody's going anywhere these days. So I just gathered some things that I thought might work, and this is what I came up with. Ta-da! What do you think? Huh? So, I got a question for you. What is the difference between this picture here, which is uh, number four picture, and then this one, number five picture? What is the difference? Can anybody, what was the skill that he taught? I don't know, Candace, I see that you're on here. What is the difference in the skill that he taught here? So this skill was, I didn't tell you, but it might be interesting for people to know. It's like um, still life painting. You have control over what it is that you're, I guess he was basically talking about how to compose a scene. So um, that was probably the, but what's, what's, oh, lines? Oh, but what about the lines though? What about the, your clothes? You're on the right track. What about the lines? Right. Um, this has something different than this, right? What's the difference? I think you can see it, but what is the, what, is, what new, um, what should I say? What new tool did I use? Do you know between these two? Anyway, I asked my kids the same thing. Caleb spotted it right away because, of course, he did. <laughs> uh, and you, uh, you know, it's, it is lines, but 
It is, okay, I'm just going to keep going. It is that I um, outlined it first with a black marker. So that is the difference in here. So far, I've only used watercolor. But now on this one, he's saying, outline it using a black marker. And so I did. Um, and I really like the way it looks. A lot. <laughs> I mean, I just kept looking at it. Oh, yeah, boldness because of the black, right, the black, black pen. Do you know what this is right here? So this is another thing. So I, I asked my husband, it's like, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? He's like, wow, it's pretty good. You're getting better, he says. And I'm like, yes. Uh, before I before I painted it with a water um, with a waterproof waterproof pen. It's actually these the pit artist pens. Uh, but anyway, um, but what's this though? Because my husband said because I paint this at night, like late. We're we're up until like two a.m. here. So when the kids go to sleep, I'm I'm a, like I break out my paints and I'm trying to do something or I'm doing my homework at the last minute because I'm in a class for teaching English to foreign language learners because I got I got I think God wants me to to uh, use what I have which is English right <laughs> to help other people and right here this is like the lesson use what you had but what's this anybody 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 you know what this is right here? What is this thing that I painted? I think everything else is pretty obvious. We know that that is the times now. We got masks that we need to wear. But what's this? So uh, my husband said if I if uh, Caleb was able to tell, looks like something crumpled up. Crumpled up. Yeah. Um, Caleb was able to tell what it was. <laughs> Why do I keep talking about Caleb? I really think he has a talent. And it's sad that he does not want to use it. Like he is not thrilled about the talent that he has and I just I just cannot believe. I just like how how can I like God gave you a gift and at a young age he can draw. At the end I want to show you what he drew lately cuz I've kind of told them during spring break you need to you need to come up with some kind of, you need to do something. So I let them choose what it was they wanted to do. And he said, oh, I guess I'll draw something. You know, it's like, yes, give it time. I hope so. I'm trying not to push him too much, actually, because I don't want him to run away from it. Um, but this right here is a shell. And he knew what it was. So then to me, that was like success. Now, my daughter said it looked like a hair scrunchie, which I guess, but it's a shell. And so, uh, so that's that. That's number five. And then number six, the last thing I've painted so far, which was the other day, um, uh, this skill, it says, uh, get confident with color. That is the, the title. And this is his. So he told you to paint your... Um, oh, what is it? It is a shell. Yep. And, and, uh, I could go get it next time. If I ever do this again, I'll try and have everything right here. Um, but anyway, this is number six. So he painted this right here. He said to paint your watercolor kit. So, um, actually I just got a new watercolor thing from you, Candace. So not from you, but I remember a couple of years ago at your house looking at all your stuff because you was the first watercolors that I've ever known in person to just like you were doing lettering and just like just showing your stuff. And I was just like, wow. <laughs> and so uh, uh, and then you had these tins. I guess what I got one anyway. Uh, where you fill it in and you stick it in there. Anyway, so um, this is not the one that I painted because look, it's new. Well, it's only like that because it's this last one that I just painted. So I had this other thing that I kind of made holes. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's like use what you have, but I was able to order something. Um, so this is my painting kit. And this is what I drew. This is my last thing. Ready? Look at that. 
Huh? That's my painting kit. Check that out. I, I just like this a lot. I'm thinking you're too pal. I, I believe you, <laughs> but this right here, look at that. I mean, I'm, I, I like it. I mean, I think I'm, I'm getting to where I want to be. And there is a difference between this one and this one. Uh, and, and the difference is, I don't know if you can see, what is the difference between this and this in the style, I guess, or the technique of painting it? So I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? So we got this one here and this one here. What's the difference? Um, the difference is this right here was painted first. First I drew it with a pencil and then I outlined it with a black waterproof um, pen. And then this one right here, I drew it with a pencil and then I outlined it with a brown pen, the micron thing. Yeah, right. This was brown though. Pretty, that, see, I knew you would get it. Anyway, so yeah, so um, that's it. And then after that, you know, my shading could do a little bit of like right there too deep, right there it seems like. And, and this right here, Kayla told me to add more depth here, so I did, but you know, I, I like it. I like it a lot. And I'm, I'm thinking, yes, this is what I want. Now, today, what I need to be doing right now is supposed to be doing the next step which is number seven. Number seven, which is what I'm supposed to be doing tonight, is called Flowers with a Difference. It says, Classic Subjects, New Approach. So this is the picture he came up with. He's, he drew flowers, but he added a picture. He said he just drew in from a picture somebody with a tattoo because he was saying that you wouldn't expect these two to come together, right? Which is true, probably not. So I've been looking for, so today we went on post cause I, um, actually my husband in on his own, which is big because lately, not lately, but I've been kind of getting a little miffed about miffed. I don't even use that word, but I just want to, I'm not terribly angry, but I'm just kind of like, you're always playing video games all the time. It's like, we got to come get you in order to eat. We come get you in order to do family game night. We come get you and it's just getting annoying and I'm starting to get irritated. And I, but I didn't say anything, but I could feel the irritation coming up. And I, I don't know. This morning he asked me, cause it's nighttime. It's almost midnight here. <laughs> but this morning I'm doing my thing. Cause I'm trying, I'm just, I'm just, you know, we could just got to give each other lots of space and grace because everybody's just, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to argue. I don't want to get into any, any, like I realize he's stressed. We're stressed. We're all doing the same thing, whatever. But he says, he came up to me and he says, do you want to, um, see if, uh, the evergreen is open on post and you want to go have some dinner there? after work because I was talking about joining him at work I had some stuff to mail off and uh he asked me if I wanted to join him at work after work for dinner at the Evergreen Evergreen's like the on base restaurant which is open to eat that's the only facility that is open for us to eat dining in everything else is takeaway um and also we're not allowed to eat off post yet at any off post restaurants so we've, so usually when you order something from there, you take it home. Uh, but he said, you want to go eat there? And at first my thought was why it costs more money to eat out than it does. <laughs> anyway, just me in my head. But uh, then I, before I said anything, I was like, you know what? He asked you if you wanted to go without you mentioning anything or saying anything. And just, you just went, I mean, like you, he just out of the blue. So I'm like, you need to reward this by saying yes and showing appreciation that he had an idea, unsolicited idea, right? So, uh, 
So I was like, yeah, sure. You call and see if they're open. Yeah, we'll go. And then when it came time to go, right. <laughs> when it came time to go, I was hungry. But then I thought, oh, man, it's going to be a lot of money. You know, like we, I, what I need to do is go to the commissary and get some food. And then I was like, I started to think we could just go to the food court, which is across the street. Because I really, really, what I was thinking about, I didn't want to run into anyone. I don't want to talk to anyone. I just, I just didn't want to. And I was afraid that if we went over there, I might see somebody. And I, anyway, so that's what I meant by my post saying, I just want to hide. I just, but anyway, I, at the end, I decided, because I was thinking of how to get out of, not get out of it, but just kind of like do it differently. But then I was like, the view at the Evergreen is nice because it overlooks the golf course. And I thought, you know what? It's been quite a long time since we went out, and and even though it's just eating a meal, why don't we go? So we did, and it was nice. Why did I? I don't even know why. I said, oh, <laughs> I, said that. I said that because I knew looking ahead that I had to find some flowers to paint. So I, what I did was I asked Daniel to uh, procure some flowers, and I showed him where he could get borrow them from. <laughs> so eh. so he went and got them and uh, they're right here and he broke it off and these are the flowers and so uh, this was on a branch actually it's a piece of a tree so what I what so I thought this would be interesting enough to make a weird picture like his you know, so, but what I like about this, when I was looking at it real close, and I don't know if you can see it or not, probably not, because is, I was just checking out the flower, and I was looking at, in the inside there, is, you, you probably won't be able to see it, but you, it, it has like these spikes in, deep in here, and the fur, I guess you could say, and I thought, if I could paint that, which I can't right now, but I thought if I could see that and just paint it and it looks like that, then I have arrived. I guess I have these super high thoughts in my mind of what, you know, being uh, a successful, like a, an accomplished, like I have arrived point, And I guess that would be it. I don't know if that's helpful or not to my journey. Maybe it's a goal, but if I just keep to this path of finish the book, you know, then I think I'll be all right. But so I was thinking about showing you like the different angles, right? I could do it this way. I was telling the kids, I, th I don't think they're interested in hearing all this, but I was telling them I could do it this way, right? These buds aren't open yet. And then you have some full ones on the side, or I could turn it this way, half like that, that. Or I could just do all full, or I can do it like this, or I can do it this, right? <laughs> anyway, so I'm just, um, oh, the 100 day project. I, I wonder what that is. I don't actually, well, I don't know what that is. I'm kind of curious, but then I'm like, is it going to derail me from sticking to the book? Because I am tired of looking at YouTube tutorials. I just need to practice. And so this flower, at first I thought, that's nice, but there's a purple one over there. You could get that flower, and then there was some yellow flowers I saw, and he said that I was being greedy because I had a flower. <laughs> I mean, I do have a flower, and it's an interesting one. Like, it's different depending on what kind of angle I want to go with. And the thing about watercolor is, this is why I like, is like, Depending on the light, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but if this was in the light, I can see it. I don't know if you can, but because the light hits this and it's so thin, that's what watercolor looks like. It, you put like one layer and, and it can look like that. But what I don't know how to do yet is like add the it's like dark pink only on the edges. And so Madeline, who's crafty, told me that I could take crepe paper and like marker the edges and I can make that. But I'm not trying to do crafts. I want to do this on watercolor so I can see 
what that is, but I don't know how it's going to look when I actually do it. So I just kind of, uh, I am, this is my thing that I'm going to try and do now because it's only midnight <laughs> and why not? Uh, because I'm supposed to paint every day and although I didn't paint on Easter or the I didn't paint on Easter I am trying to I mean how are you supposed to get better at something unless you work on it so creating painting or creating every day for a hundred days you choose what you paint or create oh well then in that case maybe that'll give me a hashtag that I can use so I can just join yeah, if you could share that with me, Candice, what that hashtag is, I would love to use it. So, here I am. This is the end of my coronavirus watercolor journey. Better paint it before it dies. <laughs> you're funny. Yes, you're right. Because he wrote in here... Uh... Oh, he actually said that. Cam, he said... When drawing cut flowers, which this is a, a broken branch that was stolen, um, you need to combine careful observation on the forms with an understanding that the subject changes hourly. So when I saw that changes hourly, I thought about that, Kim. I thought, oh, it's going to start to wilt and it's not going to look like what it looks like right now. Even though I have it in some water. By the way, this glass right here is from a lady named Linda who is now in El Paso. She had this Bible study that she was doing on the Bride of Christ. And one day, she liked to do these fancy hands-on uh, lessons with the Bible studies. And this one was like celebrating that you are the Bride of Christ. She had these veils and everything. And it was, it was uh, memorable, that's for sure. Um, so, uh, and so Linda, thank you for this glass that I'm afraid that one day is going to crack and break. Cause it's the only one I have like this, but yeah, I definitely want to see. So when you see the picture that I come up with of this flower right here, just know that like you said, Marilyn, this is the journey. It's, it. What you see is this, or some representation of it, but just know how far I've come in just these days that we've been, I don't want to use the word quarantine, but not able to do what we might like to do when we want to do it. So, um, so I'm using this kind of like as an opportunity to spend some time doing what I want to do, which is learn how to watercolor. <laughs> Daniel said, you've been talking about it like it's a chore. Um, and that's true because it's hard. Uh, and he's like, well, why are you doing it then? And it's because I want to get better at it. Um, but it is work. and uh, But I'm doing it to myself because I don't have to do watercolor. But it's just something I want to do. And I know that if I keep working on it, by the time we get out of this situation that we're in, I will be a better watercolorist. So I'd love to hear what you're doing during this time. How are you staying sane <laughs> and like keeping up your own spirits? Like how are you encouraging other people around you, you know, or... Like, what's going on with you? So, um, as you know, on this page that I'm on, I try to share spiritual truths. Um, and since they're going to school again, starting today, because it's midnight 05 right now. So, uh, I guess in 12 hours, it'll be noon. So, I'm still, I still, in fact, my son asked me, are we going to go live again when we do the Bible time and worship? And I said, I'm still praying about it. Um, uh, but I think we should. I mean, I think I'm supposed to. And uh, it's not that I don't want to share. It's just, I wonder with everybody talking, right? Yes. 
Yeah, all you needed was a little nudge, and you were off and on your way. So you probably would have did it without me, um, Candice. <laughs> uh, but, you know, um, I just saw people that was, um, seemed to have forgotten that the God that we serve. And I just really wanted to remind them of that truth. But now I feel like everybody is doing that now. And so it's like, why do I need to add to the noise <laughs> is my thought. So I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to be doing right now, if you're supposed to change to something else or I don't know. But either way, privately or publicly, um, my kids and I are going to continue to, um, you know, continue to spend time with God. Uh, I think it's important as my role as their mom, with them still being in the home with me, I want to make sure that when they leave here, they are grounded in the truth, and uh, and and that 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 when they become lost or unexpected things happen, that they will be found in the Lord because they'll come back to their foundation, rooted firmly in God. Now my son just got up to get water. Look at him; he's right there, up. Hi. <laughs> Doesn't he sound old? He's like, he sounds like a teenager or something. How old are you? <laughs> Where are you going? Back to bed. Back to bed? Yes. It is only midnight. Good night. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So let me read what you wrote and then I'm probably going to. I recently challenged some friends. I know what I'm calling Paul's challenge. Paul was on a house arrest in Rome and wrote four books in the Bible. What can everyone do with this gift of time we have? Yes. Right. Gift of time. I think uh, that right there shows your perspective, you know. The way you're looking at it. You call it a gift of time. I don't think everyone would call it that. Um, I know another mom that's calling this an opportunity. Not a crisis, but an opportunity. I like that too. Um, because the way we look at this situation will definitely shape probably the direction that we're headed. <laughs> and um, um, for Easter, yes, take every thought, Captain. You're right. Thank you. Yes, you're right. For Easter, I um, will share that I was pretty upset with, uh, not on Easter, but leading up to Easter, I was pretty upset with the fact that uh, we were not going to be able to meet together as a body. I don't know why I was so, I mean, I mean, so for us, maybe for for those in the States, it was pretty much shut down once it started. But for us, we had gotten to a point because we started earlier in the situation than you all because it broke out earlier here. Uh, well, we knew about it earlier here. And, and anyway, um, but we had got to a point where we were doing outdoor services for the chapel. And even though I was streaming it here, I had a choice of if I wanted to get up and go to the outdoors, the services, the chapel services that they moved outdoors, spaced out with all the precautions in place. You know, people ch could ch choose to go in person and meet and fellowship in person. And, um, and I had that choice and I was happy with ha being able to have the choice. But then the choice when it broke out in the States, when the choice got taken away because um, higher leadership said no to all of that and so I I thought that they were going to talk to them and tell them all of the things that we were doing here I mean um, and that's you know anyway it didn't work out and so I was just frustrated with seeing all these other events happen here but not the spiritual health and, and events I mean not that you have to meet together but I just like we're meeting together for other things. And so I'm just getting really irritated about that. And so on Easter, I um, just wanted to get away from all that. I don't know. I just, 
being upset with that. And so on Easter, I did not watch any services. I did not stream it live on my page in case you was like, she didn't stream it. Yeah, I didn't because I didn't watch it because I was just doing what um, we were doing here in our family. I mean, we were doing something. So what I did was I um, uh, got up early and that night before Easter, I prepared uh, some stuff for to make uh, hot cross buns for the first time. So that was my way of sort of presenting it to the family about, we talked about that, I actually posted that on my Facebook page and um, about that process. And then made the hot cross buns, made a nice meal. Uh, it was very good. Um, we're gonna use that recipe again. and. And we watched the Jesus play, which was very good. I don't know if it's still available now, but I was I was hesitant to watch it, but I'm so glad I did. We watched it as a family, and, and I prayed before the meal, before we ate our um, dinner, and I just thank God publicly. And as you know, my husband's not a believer, so um, I don't do that often, but I just... Uh, felt the need to be thankful publicly within my family to say, you know, thank you, God, for what we have. Thank you, God, for this meal. Thank you, God, for providing good health. Thank you, God, for protecting our family. You know, um, and regardless of, the, of whether we uh, acknowledge you or not, because Easter means different things to different people, I know that, but I just want to thank you right now. And so... Um, that's what we did for Easter. But then that evening, though, I went ahead and got myself together. And uh, as I was washing mounds of dishes, I uh, uh, started streaming um, some worship services. And let me tell you what I did. I didn't, I, I thought, let me watch this. Because at that time when I was washing the dishes, Now's the time everyone in the States is kind of like they're about to start their big Easter worship service. So I thought, let me watch one of these bigger churches worship services. And the worship set was amazing because they have everything, right? And lots of talent. Um, but when it got to the message, not saying that it wasn't true, uh, everything in it was right, but I just felt like... Um, that will, I don't know, just, I didn't feel attached to the message, to the messenger, maybe because I wasn't his sheep. Like, I just, anyway, all this to say, I ended up going to where, um, I ended up listening to my old church service there in Virginia Unity Baptist Church. And so I listened to his message, um, and I really liked it. And maybe it's because I'm used to Pastor Chris sermons. I know what to expect. I know he's going to talk about the truth. I know he's going to talk about bringing the gospel to the nations. I mean, that's just what his focus is. And so that's what he talked about. But he talked about how when we get done with this time, you know, um, do we want to be, you know, think about now when we're done with this time, when the world is finished with this time and they move on, are you going to return to normal again? Because, um, because now is now we are, we are changing right now. This time should be a time of reflecting and coming to Jesus and being shaped and changed so that when this is over, we can be just on fire, ready to go for whatever it is that God has next for us to do. And it might be different than what we were doing before. Um, he said it better than that, and I took notes. <laughs> but I didn't expect to talk about that now. And he used the reference of the disciples. Remember when they were with Jesus? Um, hanging out with them, following them, everything was fine. And then all of a sudden not all of a sudden to Jesus. I mean, he had been talking about that the whole time, but now he's crucified. They ran for their lives. They're in hiding. They're in lockdown like us. We're in lockdown. That's the analogy. You know, they're hiding for fear of their life. And then uh, Jesus comes back. 
and then they experience him they realize that it's him they believe it once they interact with him they start to believe and see and then he leaves and he says go out into the world and what do they do they do just that and so i want to continue to do that i know that's what i'm i, I know that's what i want to do i just don't know how that's supposed to i don't know how i don't know that's not for me to plan i'm just supposed to stay connected to god so i guess that's what i'm doing and uh, today we talked about art and uh, my journey with that. Um, who knows what God's going to do with this whole art thing? I don't know. I don't think it's going to be. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? You know, who knows? All I know is that God is God and he will do whatever he wants to do. If this is going to be something, it's going to be something. If it's not, then it's not. And if it's just something to just for me to just have my own personal pleasure in and just see that you know I I can I can create things I can reflect some of his beauty then then I'm going to try and do that you know I don't know what God is doing so I just would love to hear how you are and oh Candace uh you know uh, I got a. This is the last thing I'm gonna say because I don't even know how long this has been. Uh, but I was just say the the I got a message from a friend when we were stationed in Germany. That was quite a while ago. Um, but we've kind of kept in contact via social media. But she put me in a group chat with a bunch of people that we hung out with over there in the Festerberg, which was a nice time. Uh, be, and I have a lot of great memories from that time. Uh, but she put me in a group chat and she said, hey, I'd like to reach out to all of you ladies from the Festiburg times. Let's meet on Zoom at this day and this time. And I saw that message and I was like, nope. Anyway, I'm not sure why I'm saying that right now. I guess I'm just saying, like, I'm not ready to. I'm very stubborn. I only want to do things when I want to do it. <laughs> Which is, I mean, I need time to work up to these things. Uh, and I'm usually the one planning these things. So it's kind of odd to meet someone who's like me. <laughs> but not me I don't know so obviously God is showing me like what's wrong with you <laughs> anyway we all have our struggles I'm I am just trying to see God what do you want me to do who do you want me to be <laughs> who am I no I know who I am um, just my mind goes constantly with things that I could do. I have lots of thoughts and ideas and I have to make myself not do them because like, no, don't no. focus on this. No, no, no. Stop looking at that over there. Do this. That is my mind. And like I said, if it wasn't for deadlines, deadlines, meaning I told you I'm in a class for um, teaching English to foreign language learners. And this is my textbook right here. And uh, and we worked this far. I don't know if you can see, I'm almost done. Uh, it's a 12 week course. At the end of it, I'll get my TEFL certificate. Um, and it's a 120 hour class. And I thank God that this class has been going on during this time because each week we have deadlines and they don't care about the coronavirus. It's like, it's just going and going and going. You have to do these things. So for me, that's like, all right, I got to get this done. I got to get this done. And our teacher is so great. She gives us personalized feedback, even though it's an online course. And I'm just like, I don't want to let her down. <laughs> so I'm going to do my homework and turn it in on time. I mean, I'm thankful for that. So those deadlines, the fact that I have kids and they were hungry and they want to eat and I know they need spiritual guidance. So I do that too. That keeps me going each day. 
and then like I said this watercolor is my personal thing um, the doing the Bible time and worship videos at midnight or midnight <laughs> at noon is uh, something also that kept me in the word and stuff but after a while it's just kind of like you don't need to do this for other people you need to come back to me for you like so I took a break from that for a while um, from going public with it because I needed to come back to God myself because um, it started to turn into for other people but now it's kind of like I recognize that this is for other people and I want my kids to see that we are not just living our life just for ourselves you know I don't think God helps us just for us to be helped and then that's it like it ends with us no it's like I've heard it explained it's like a funnel you know you need to God pours in you pour out God please you know like you don't hold the stuff because then it, can, it becomes stagnant like a pond you know, like that doesn't get any fresh water. It starts to grow stuff that, no, we want to be a fresh, fresh flowing river, life giving, life giving full of oxygen. Um, plants and animals thrive there, not a dead swamp. So I want to be used by God to just be. Whatever it is that he's, what I don't know what he's doing. Uh, maybe he's doing something in my kids through this time as they see me serve God, not knowing the plan, just step by step. Like, this is what I think we should do. I want you guys to help me pray about it. Uh, whether they do it or not, I don't know. <laughs> but I want them to know that I don't have a plan. I don't have a road map. I'm just seeking the Lord. Uh, I think they think that we know what we're doing, but sometimes kids um, don't realize that we're winging it. Uh, well, you might know what you're doing. I don't. I know the basics. I know, I, I know they need to know God. I know I need to feed them. I know I, I need to work it out with my husband. Like, we need to figure it out. And I, and, but other than that, I don't know a lot. So we're just going along. Okay. Uh, well, thank you for joining me during this time. Um, you, I can't be the only one. God will bless your obedience. Thank you, Candice. I, I see you guys serving over there at Fort Lee's PWC. And I'm just so proud of you guys. You know, you have so many women who want to serve and who give up their gifts and talents and I see you guys growing and like the things that you're doing over there as a body is definitely I'm sure blessing those ladies that are there and growing each of you in your leadership skills and whatever it is that God's showing you I know here um our PWCs is different. And what I can say at each PWC, it's it's always different. There's always something different to learn. The women are different. The mission is different. Not the mission, but I mean like the, the journey that we're on is, is just different. So the lessons are different. And God, you know, God keeps shaping us. He keeps stretching us because he has a plan and a purpose. Good to see you too, Kimberly. All right. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for joining me. And if I don't get off of here, I will not do my painting today. And then this flower will die. <laughs> and we don't want that, do we, Kimberly? No. Um, no, I want to really try. I think this is a nice, interesting thing that we got here. And we'll just see what happens. All right. Have a good day for you guys. And I'll have a good night. Thank you for joining me tonight. I appreciate it, and uh, I look forward to seeing more from you whenever I run across your stuff. All right.